Hi everyone, today I am with uh, Ben Elantau and you know he is always there, you know, saving the wildlife, saving creatures that are voiceless and as much as uh, I get scared of the wildlife but I try and contribute and try and save as much as possible through his help. So today he gave me a call to let me know a small incident that has happened. This is what happened is in the morning I was called, somebody walking the dog and they saw one the dog started barking at his python. So they called me, I came to rescue the python. Python was badly mangled. At the previous one that you yeah. told me you rescued yeah, two today, before. Yeah, today, yeah, yeah, today, yeah. today morning. So I rescued the python, it was already badly stuck in the fishing net. And after that I said I'll take a walk around. Mm -hmm. And after the python I saw a dead owl, then another python which was still alive but struggling for life. And then at the end before you came we yeah. found a rat snake which is dead. A big massive rat snake. And another thing I want to inform you that not only the snake's life or the bird's life is in this. Just imagine if there's a Russell viper stuck in the net or a cobra stuck in the net yes. like this. And nobody's seen this. Like these snakes are here for a couple of weeks and nobody has seen them. So somebody's playing here, they want to go and answer nature's call. They walk close to the net or over the net. The snake cannot be seen because of so much of greenery. And the snake is in pain. Now this snake, because it's in pain, is going to bite. And it's going to bite and inject venom because it's already in pain. And a, a life can be lost that way for nobody's fault. Yeah, today Benil and I, we're doing this awareness video is to show you all that you know, uh, this is also an area for the snakes, for the birds to move around. I know we as human beings want a playground, we need to put our nets around, but we have to think about them. And I'd like to request the mayor, uh, the corporator, or the village panchayat, or the punch member, whichever area, support the youngsters to have a proper netting done. And uh, if you can suggest what kind of netting would be feasible uh, for them to use. So this is a problem that's happening all over Goa. I've seen this happening all over and a lot of animals die in it. And the intention of the people putting this net is absolutely not wrong. They're just not thinking about the, the situation it's causing towards wildlife. Now, a simple thing like if you're using the fishing net, if you have to, it's the most economical, it's waste fishing net, you're using it, if you just keep it off the ground for two feet, you want to stop balls that are going on the road from a height. So the balls remain on the playing field. So you just raise it by two feet, keep it two feet up, lizards, modern lizards, snakes can pass on there. But still this is not very ideal because the net will drop down sooner or later. What is important is if you can use a big blue colour fishing net with the big holes and which is thick or the chicken mesh which is of plastic, the snakes can't get stuck in it because it's hard. Or if you use these kind of nets that they use for stadiums or for volleyball courts, these kind of thick big nets, that is much much better. And you just need to be a lot more empathetic towards wildlife. Yeah. We need to think about what our actions cause as a result to wildlife. And I think so, Benin has been doing some fabulous job and this is an awareness so that you all can even implement it in your area and check around if anything is like, you know, uh, stuck or is caught up so that you can have it released. So please people in your area, please inform your corporators, your mayors, your panchayats, sarpanches so that you can protect the wildlife around us. Thank you so much. Thanks, this is for dropping by. Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you.